Hi, I'm Brady Volk, founder of Nimble This and the Volk Firm, and I want to have a brief discussion about ChatGPT and how it impacts and can be used in the cable industry. First off, a quick overview of what ChatGPT is. ChatGPT is a new AI learning engine that has recently been released, and its, its intended purpose is to give us an opportunity to explore what OpenAI has released for us from a, a machine learning or AI learning engine. Um, it gives us a, a, an example or a view into something that we can interact with from an AI learning perspective and ask questions and get feedback back. Um, there's a lot of video out there on what chat GPT can do. I'm not going to get into that, but I, I kind of want to focus on it from, from the Doxis cable modem industry. You know, I think we could dive into this as, you know, if you're like a technician, would you say, um, um, you know, so what is Doxis 3.1, for example? You can just naturally ask it a question, and it's going to say, Doxis data of cable sp service interface specification is a set of standards that are used by cable television providers to deliver internet and other data services to their customers. Doxis 3.1 is the latest version of the specification, which was released in 2013. It is designed to provide faster internet speeds and more capacity for data transmission over existing HFC hybrid fiber coax networks. Some of the key features of Doxis 3.1 include the ability to support data rates up to 10 gigabits per second downstream and 1 gigabit per second upstream, improved support for video and other high bandwidth applications, and the use of advanced modulation techniques to improve the efficiency of data transmission. So that's fantastic, right? I mean, it gives us the ability to quickly research a topic and get a really nice and very intelligent answer out of it. But, you know, what if we want to go deeper? What if we want to understand a little bit more? And I've, I've explored these things. Getting good answers on you, know, maybe how to troubleshoot an amplifier isn't necessarily there. We can look at some of those things. Um, so, it's, you know, how do I um, troubleshoot an RF amplifier um, that has low, uh, let's use MER, for example. Uh, these get into areas of expertise that may be a little bit beyond what ChatGPT has been trained from a, an AI standpoint. It can give us some kind of recommendations, but here's, here's what it's giving us. For example, um, here are the steps you can take to troubleshoot an amplifier that has low MER, modulation error ratios. That's fantastic that it does understand what MER. Uh, check the input signal of the amplifier. Make sure the input signal is strong enough. So, I mean, it understands things like input, output. Check the amplifier's power supply. Check the amplifier's output. I mean, these are actually good recommendations. Check the amplifier's gain. Check for external interference. That's really interesting, such as radio transmitters. Actually, this is more than I had actually expected from it. Check the amplifier's components. Um, this may get a little bit more involved than what we want, and then check the amplifier's connections. So that's something that's actually interesting. Check the amplifier's connections. Um, we can actually take one of these responses. So let's let's see how far it can go. Um, uh, so how do I do the following? And then so we can take one of these and paste this in. So how do I do that? And we'll just paste that in. And so we're asking it, how do I check the amplifier's connections? So now we're really getting down into the deep, deep, you know, does this, does chat GPT actually know how to check the connectors for an amplifier? So we locate the amplifier, we identify the amplifier's connections. Now we want to know, does it actually know how to break apart a connector on an RF amplifier? So we inspect the connectors for any types of damage. Actually looking for bent pins, corroded connectors. Check if the connection is securely fastened to the respective port. Inspect the cables. Look for any visible damage on the cables, such as frayed or cut wires. So frayed or cut wires, that's not going to be on semi-rigid. That's going to be obviously on like a Series 6, Series 11. But, you know, that could go either way now. We could be looking at drop connectors. 
check for loose connections, gently tug or connectors. Eh, that's not going to be on. You can tug on a on a hard line connector, and that would definitely tell us that we have a. You know, we don't have the compression compression fitting all the way done. And then repeat the process. I think this is not bad. Now, where we can get into even more interesting areas is maybe programming. Maybe we want to we wanted to delve into SNMP and understand you know how to communicate with a cable modem so um let's let's asking how do we query a cable modem to get its mer value so you know that's pretty open ended question there let's see if it knows anything about snmp again it's saying there are several ways to query a cable modem to get its mer modulation error ratio use a diagnostic tool so that's kind of meaning like a tool that's already set up to do that use a command line interface so that would be like logging into the cmts or the cable modem directly and using cli tools uh, use a network management system so that would be more like an SNMP or use a third party tool. Um, so I want to get more into this network management. So let me let me get very specific here. How can I query query a cable modem to get its to get its MER value using Python? Python's a very common programming application. Um, that can be used to query a cable modem using SNMP. And I think that's exactly where we want to get to and see if we can do that. Um, so now it's telling us to install a library or module, establish a connection to the modem. And hopefully this will actually give us an example uh, of code here. If not, I'm, I'm just going to tell it to give me an example of code to do that. And so query the modem for the MER, extract the MER value once we've queried it, process the MER value, and then determine the threshold. And if it doesn't give me the code, I'm just going to say, give me an example of code that can do this. I don't think it's going to do this because it only gives you so many results. So now I'm just going to say, give me an example of code that can do this. It's given me all these steps to do it. Now I just want to say, give me some code that can do it. So here, so pysnmp.halapi is an actual Python library. Uh, now it's giving me the community string of public and the cable modem IP address of 192.168.1.1. The OID, or OID, uh, is a MIB uh, value of 1.3.6.2, that OID. That's how we'd query the cable modem. So this is actually a, a, a real piece of code that it's generating, a piece of Python code. code. And this is actual Python script. You can run this in Python, and it'll do that. So that's open chat GPT um, for the cable industry. A, a couple of the really nice things we saw here. So how do I troubleshoot an RF amplifier that has low MER? It gave us some very nice steps here to do so. And then um, if I want to get the MER from if I'm more on the programming side and I want to start learning programming to actually interact with SNMP to get data from a cable modem, um, this is much faster, much more powerful than anything we could do with Google. So I'm really, really excited about chat GPT in the cable industry. I'd encourage anyone who's not experienced or used this yet to start playing with it. It can be used for generating tr um, training uh, within a training organization. It can be used um, with coding for anyone who wants to use coding and so much more. I think we're just starting to use this. So do get started and use this within your organization. ChatGPT is just the latest state of art of artificial intelligence to really take off and give us something that we can use to gain our uh, and, and really build our expertise in the cable industry. So go chat GPT and go cable industry. Happy 2023. It's going to be an exciting year. So 